GTA 5 roleplay, you've probably seen it and heard about it a dozen times, but you probably always wondered, how exactly do I get into said roleplay? How do I get started? Where do I get started? And frankly, I have no idea what to even do. In this video, I aim to tell you exactly how you should and could get started with some GTA 5 roleplay. And in this beginner's guide for Grand RP, I ex aim to do exactly that. Because this is a sponsored video by Grand RP, I highly encourage you to check out their server in the link in the description down below and sign up with my link so you can get yourself some additional bonuses for doing just that. On the website, of course, you want to create your account and then use the first and last name of your character. This does not have to be your real life name for obvious reasons because I don't think that using your government name is a particularly good idea when role-playing as a character because at the end of the day role-play is about assuming a character and kind of creating a story for them as you continue on. This means that if you decide to be a retired train station worker and you decided to pick up a life of crime you can be exactly that. That is the beauty of role-play. Make it up as you go, you don't have to be yourself. Like in GTA Online, the most important thing about roleplay is making sure that your character looks as good or as bad as you want it to be. Of course, this is where you would start off your journey in Grand RP as well. Adjust the nose a few too many times and that before you know it you have whatever this is upon successfully creating your character you will be spawning inside of the hotel from the hotel you want to exit the door and then make your way to the hotel lobby inside of this hotel lobby you'll be greeted by olivia johnson who you'll be able to talk to and start the beginner's quest this beginner's quest can always be found by pressing the m button in your keyboard then you want to go to the quest tab from there you'll be able to see the four beginners tab and always be able to plan a route to where you want to go next of course you want to start off by planning the route to go to electricity so you can start making the first 100 dollars in your career from the power plant while you're there, you can also look into the family system of Grand RP. Perhaps not something as a complete beginner, but something to keep in mind for a later date. Grand RP has a big focus on these families, and there will definitely be someone for everyone if you're looking to get up to some more mischief with some like-minded individuals who are looking to get up to no good and obviously make a whole lot more money. Families are definitely one of the bigger focuses of Grand RP and it's kind of one of the more essential things to get involved with and it will definitely enhance your experience a great deal. Upon accessing the hotel you'll be able to talk to this lovely lady and rent yourself a scooter. This will be your primary way of transportation for a little while but don't worry too much there's plenty of rental places for scooters scattered around the city. From there you want to make your way to the electricity by just simply planning the route on the quest tab like I mentioned before. Once you arrive at the electrician job you want to simply walk into the yellow circle over here and then click the get employed button to get started with the job. From there you'll be changed into an outfit and then start working the job by just simply walking to the appropriate locations and then holding E whenever applicable. Simply do five of these to make your $100 and then you can head back to the same location where where you also sign in for the job to then exit out again and if you missed out on your vehicle rental you can rent a completely new scooter if need be. Throughout the beginner's quest you also be granted a bunch of beginner's cases inside of your inventory so make sure to keep an eye on that whenever you receive any of those. Once you're done with all that you can get back onto your scooter and then make your way to the post office where there'll already be a couple of rewards waiting for you. The post office also has its own job if you feel like reliving your days of doing the bunker business in GTA Online by driving around and delivering packages. I'm sure enough of you have already seen the Postal P van for longer than they wanted to so they might skip out on this job. If you don't feel like reliving the Postal P days then you can head straight to the driving school and then start working on learning how to drive. Now because you've been driving the scooter for a while I'm going to assume that you haven't killed yourself just yet and you'll be able to learn how to drive by using the exact same controls as you did before. If not, I guess use that opportunity to learn how to drive. There's no speed limit to the driving school. All you have to do really is just simply drive through the checkpoints and for some reason the driving school will then think that you know how to drive. There's no time limit. You can just take your time, just learn how to drive and make sure to also respect the rules of the server by not just driving into everything that moves. 
that will get you banned. Make sure to read up on the rules on that as well while we're at it. Upon completing the driving school, you'll be granted the driver's license as well as a bit of a test drive in a supercar, which will allow you to get to the next objective just a little bit quicker. This next objective will be all the way in grave seat, so you have plenty of time to hit a highway and put the pedal to the metal. Oh yes, the cars in Grand RP definitely go a little bit quicker than you're used to in GTA Online, which obviously is not a bad thing if you're a bit of a speed demon. The next objective in Grape Seed will require you to do a bit of farming. Now, if you are someone who is a bit of a farmer boy, you probably know what to do. But for those who don't know, well, allow me to explain. You want to start off by going to the location I'm showing on screen and start getting employed like we did with the electrician job. From there, you want to make your way to the water tank and fill up so you can start watering the plants at the appropriate locations. Again, you just simply have to do five of these tasks to be able to advance with the next step of the beginner's quest. If you feel like continuing on with the farmer's job, feel free to do so because of course, like with anything within Grand RP, doing the job isn't only about the money. You also gain the experience which will allow you to make more money later down the line and also be able to unlock more things as the job progresses. Yes, in Grand RP, there is just not a matter of just simply sitting there and making money. There's a lot more to it. It will take you a little while though to get there, so don't expect to do it overnight because uh, yeah, it is definitely a bit on the grind of your side. Once you're done channeling your inner farmer boy, you'll be able to make your way to Cypress Flats for the next step of the beginner's quest. Here you'll be able to sell your copper that you just acquired and then of course make a little bit more money as well as be granted a bit of bonus cash for continuing on with said beginner's quest. From there, you can then do one of the final steps of the quest, which is requires you to go to the parking lots around the city and simply rent the spot so you'll be able to see that you actually already have been given a car before. This is the Red Loader. It's definitely not one of the better vehicles in the game, but it will get you from A to B without needing to rent the scooter all the time. And upon that, you will have successfully completed the beginner's quest, which will also allow you to check out any of these three vehicles and be able to use that for a week. After that, you will have that removed, but you know, you'll be able to gather it around the city in a bit more style and a bit more speed, unlike the Red Loader, which well, looks the way that it does. Obviously, you'll be able to find this within any of the parking spots, so go back there and rent yourself another parking spot before getting rid of the red loader. And one final tip is that you definitely want to head to one of the stores and spend about $5,000 on a backpack. This will allow you to have a bit of a larger inventory, which will allow you to store more stuff and make your life a whole lot easier. And that is all there is to it. You can now explore the world of Grand RP. Just simply open up your map and pick any of the activities that might be appealing to you. With that said, thanks for watching everyone. Thank you again Grand RP for sponsoring the video. Make sure to check out the link in the description down below to sign up for Grand RP and get yourself some bonuses. And I'll see you all later.